Ladies and most gentlemen, today we're going to talk about alpacas and more specifically the three alpaca mounts that you can now obtain in patch 8.3 Visions of Nazoth. But before we get into all of that, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video and that is my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash MrGM if you want to check me out on stream, streaming World of Warcraft, patch 8.3, classic, all that good stuff, twitch.tv slash MrGM. So, as I said, there are three brand new alpaca mounts which are absolutely adorable that are now obtainable in patch 8.3. So let's just jump straight in with the first one and that is the mount called Molly and the item for this is called the slightly damp pile of fur which is kind of morbid. Pretty morbid considering the way that you get it is actually from a drop from a boss that we've had in the game since the launch of Battle for Azeroth. And this is Dune Gorger Kralok, the big dinosaur that you've probably killed a million times over in Voldoon. Now you have more reason to kill him because he has a chance, we're not sure of the percentage, probably pretty low, to drop the slightly damp pile of fur which gives you the mount Molly. Now this mount is obviously really cool, the animations are absolutely fantastic on these alpaca mounts, and Molly is probably the hardest mount to get on this list. Next up is the Spring Fur Alpaca, now on the mount journal it says that it's from the quest Alpaca It In and from the Zone Oldham. So this one is a very interesting mount. People on the PTR did actually find this out before launch and now it is just going absolutely nuts on the live servers. Now all you have to do is find something called Gershul Greens. Now these are spawned all along the river in Oldham and you do not need herbalism to pick them up. Uh, you can just pick them up, they're on the ground, they look exactly like this so you just gotta fly up and down the river, preferably put down your ground clutter and stuff like that to try and find it a little bit better. Once you've done that, check on the dungeon finder, type in alpaca, and there'll probably be a few groups saying friendly alpaca. Now the friendly alpaca is a alpaca that spawns all around Oldham in various locations around the zone, and essentially what will happen is these groups will form, they will have an alpaca spawn, they'll be standing at the alpaca spawn, you go to that alpaca, do the daily quest which is to feed it Gershul Greens, it'll give a big love heart thing and do a little dance, and essentially Essentially you've got to do that for seven days in a row and that's it and on the seventh day you get a quest called alpaca it in and then you get the mount you get the spring fur alpaca it sounds pretty easy it just takes seven days of dailies you just got to remember to keep doing it uh, not sure if it has to be seven days in a row or just seven in total that's uh, yet to be seen as the patch has only just launched and finally we have the elusive Quick Hoof. Now this is a darker furred alpaca, a lot different to the other two, and this is just listed as the Zone Voldoon. Now this is a pretty interesting one, similar to the Spring Fur Alpaca. Essentially the elusive Quick Hoof is spawned in a few locations around Voldoon. As you can see here, here are the current spawn locations that have been confirmed by comments on Wowhead. I will leave the Wowhead link in the description below this video as well, because there's just been a ton of awesome comments in there, really helping out trying to find the elusive Quick Hoof. So essentially this alpaca does spawn somewhere in Voldoon and what you have to do is find it and feed it seaside leafy green mix and now you just have to do that once and the seaside leafy green mix pretty much is sold by a lot of the general food vendors in Battle for Azeroth. It's not very hard to find, you just buy it from a vendor and essentially you just find the elusive quick hoof and feed it and then the elusive quick hoof goes into your bag. Which is a lot easier than the Spring Fair Alpaca, admittedly. Now, this has been confirmed to be able to be done in a raid, so essentially the best thing to do right now is to get on the Dungeon Finder, make a group, and get a ton of people looking around for this. Uh, a couple of people in Wowhead have also said that the spawn timer is around about three to four hours. So, yeah, you might get lucky, you might be searching for three to four hours, who knows, but essentially flying around Voldoon, checking these spots right here, and hoping for the best. It is not a rare spawn, so it won't come up on the map, uh, and it is a friendly NPC. So you will have to use NPC scan or a macro or something like that to be able to target the elusive quick hoof. So yeah, that's it guys. That is the three brand new alpaca amounts that are coming to the game in patch 8.3 Visions of Nazoth. Do let me know down below which one is your favorite, if you've got any, if you have any more advice on how to find the elusive quick hoof or the spring fair alpaca or have a confirmed drop of Molly, because we haven't actually had a confirmed drop as of yet, but the Mount Journal does state that the uh, the boss in Voldoon does drop it. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a part of the Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. We've been playing 8.3 yesterday, a lot of fun looking for these alpacas, doing all the dailies and stuff like that. So if you want to check me out on Twitch, .tv slash MrGM. And with that, guys, 
I'll see you next time.